Hello and welcome to this video about DNA, genes and chromosomes. The purpose of this video is to give you an idea of the size of these things in relation to each other and also um, to help you understand what these three words in particular mean. So our bodies are made up of millions and millions of cells. They are the building blocks of our bodies and if you think about um, specialised cells that we discussed in the past, things like nerve cells, muscle cells, red blood cells, all of these things are um, used to make up a, a human organism. And the genetic information contained in these cells, your DNA, determines all of your characteristics. So to see your cells you'd have to um, use a microscope and zoom in several thousands of times. So let's assume we're going to zoom in now on some skin cells on the face and I've just drawn a very simple picture just to show the idea that the whole of your skin is made up of thousands and thousands of cells and each of those cells has a nucleus which controls the cell activity and within that nucleus of the cell that is where the genetic information is held that's where your DNA is which is your genetic information and normally um, the DNA is as a long scrambled um, loop like this so long strands of DNA just held within your nucleus so in a bit more detail then normally I said the DNA is um, in long scrambled chains like this but at times and specifically when the cell needs to divide actually the DNA arranges itself into what we call chromosomes so you might hear the phrase that chromosomes are in your nucleus and that's absolutely fine to say that um, but normally it is all this um, long chains here but they can be packaged into these chromosomes and every human cell in the body has 23 pairs of these chromosomes so you can see here 1 to 23 and this pair 23 actually determines your sex which we'll come on to in a later video. You can see I've coloured them blue and red just to show you that each pair consists of one chromosome from the mother and one chromosome from the father and these are what contain your genetic information. If we were to zoom in on a particular section of a chromosome we would see a DNA helix so the DNA all wrapped up within the chromosomes. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and this is your genetic information. This determines um, what you look like. So we've come from the cell, we've gone into the nucleus where the genetic information is, we've said that genetic information um, can be packaged into chromosomes of which we've got 23 pairs one from your mother and one from your father, so 46 chromosomes in total. And then the small section of a chromosome, you can see the DNA. So this um, completes the puzzle then. A small section of DNA is called a gene. And a gene will code for a particular characteristic. For example, this here, this could be the gene for blue eyes, for example, or it could be the gene for tongue rolling or something like that. So a particular small section of DNA is called a gene and that will then go on to code for a particular characteristic. So hopefully that's given you a little bit more clarity of the terms gene, DNA and chromosomes and hopefully you understand that they are um, held within the nucleus of every single cell in your body. If you found this video useful for you then please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.